Andrew is it Cesaris in ninth position. Winklehawk in tenth position is Lauda. And there is Jean-Pierre Jarrier about to be lapped by the leading four cars. Whatever it was wrong with Jarrier's car has been put right. And now he's going to be passed by his fellow Frenchman, Patrick Tombe. Well, we, we hope he is. We've said in the past that uh, Jean-Pierre Jarrier is not always the easiest man in the, in the field to pass. Is he going to be difficult again? And it's given Arnoux an opportunity to have a sharp look at Tombe's. I think the trouble is it, it, it hasn't really helped Arnoux because uh, with, Jerry, with Jerry there as well, as usual, getting in the way, and he's managed to uh, hold them up for two corners now, and it really is completely out of order. A drive of, of his experience, and Arnu is getting through, he's getting alongside. Tambay's cracking at it, at it the other side, but can't, and uh, he'll be thanking Jerry probably with a knuckle sandwich after the race, I think. For that. And as PK pulling through on the inside, I think, has just nipped through inside, and uh, Jerry really is completely out of order. I mean, he really shouldn't be allowed to drive in Grand Prix racing. He is, uh, I mean, he's got a mental age of 10 in the first place, and that was absolutely disgraceful for a driver of, uh, of his experience. And I would think that uh, the authorities have really got to look at driving like that and do something about it, because he should certainly have a short suspension for that. And uh, for being himself, he should have a permanent suspension. And Prost into the pits. Yes, Alain Prost coming into the pits on 